we have some position vectors in front of us and we know they are position vectors because they all come out of the origin we also know that they are vectors because each one has an arrow head which means that direction is an important part of the vector okay each vector must have a direction so let's express each position vector in the form x y it is a column matrix for those who have seen matrices before this is a two by one matrix okay so let's look at the first one oa the first number we're looking at let's look at oa and the first number is the x coordinate which is here so the first number is two and the y coordinate is negative two so we will write two on top and negative two underneath okay let's look at ob now ob we're looking at the x number first of all the x coordinate which is positive six and then the y coordinate which is positive one okay so we put in this these two entries in our column matrix so the number on top would be six the number underneath would be one and that represents ob we'll see now the x coordinate is negative three and the y coordinate is positive two so we would write negative three on top and positive two underneath for oc and the last vector od as you can see the arrow goes from o to d that's the direction of the arrow the first number we look at is negative four coming from the x-axis and the y coordinate but the y number comes from the y axis, negative 1. So we enter these numbers in our column matrix. We get negative 4 on top and negative 1 underneath. Okay. So I'm removing the graph page now so you can see more clearly. And these are the answers when we are asked to express in, the, in a column matrix form position vectors. Thanks for watching and good luck in your studies.